Yo, we're the Flappers Zombies. We are. Mm-hmm. We're here with Hot Hip Hop. You did. We're gonna show you how to roll the thing. Mm-hmm. Nah, I already almost rolled mine already in the intro. <laughs> So uh, first things first, what kind of weed you got today? Uh, this is Gelato 33. Okay. I, I, I think Biscotti. Probably. Think it's Biscotti. Mm, okay. I don't all know. The I'm same, all in the same family though. Yeah. yeah. Connected gang. It is. Do you have a favorite strain? <laughs> <laughs> anything. I mean, for now, like now nowadays, for like the last four years, it will be anything that's like cookie cut with gelato cut. Those kind of cuts like my favorite right now. I've been fucking with wedding cake a lot. I like wedding cake a lot. Wedding cake. What about least favorite? Least favorite? <laughs> Blue Dream. <laughs> yo, bro. You know what's so funny? A nigga said. A nigga said to me, "Yo, you saying that sauce Blue Dream that amazing gold?" I said, "Nigga, that was 2011." Hell yeah. All right. But um, <laughs> thanks, Shane. Be- definitely. I don't. I'm not a big sativa man. I'm not like. I like indicas. I like to be knocked on my ass. Like, I want to struggle. Right. I want the couch to be like <laughs> holding on, like symbiote, like just holding on to me. I don't really like for like to get like razzle dazzled where I try to open my fucking hotel door with my fucking credit card because the sativa got my brain on retarded. I like to just be locked in, you know. Uh, what about? Do you remember the first time you smoked weed? I remember the first time I smoked alone and rolled my own joint. How was that? I watched SpongeBob for the first time and I still don't like it and I still don't get it. Uh, it was my grandfather's weed. I used to steal weed from him. And me and my friends, I lived in the projects of the block for me. I would give them the weed to sell and then they would like barely bring me any money back. So I was like, hey man, people are buying this shit. Let me really see what this is about. And I smoked it on my own and I haven't been the same since. Yeah, yeah I, think my, I think my homie, I think the first time my homie Blake, he, mm-hmm. he just like, Found weed or he was selling weed at the time. Mm-hmm. And he just Chocolate, like, yeah, right? Yeah, y'all wanna get yeah, y'all wanna get high or something? And we was just like, fuck it. Yeah. Let's do it. And uh we got high in the staircase. Whew. Oh, I remember it was uh oh, no, I mean, threw, even, I threw up, bro. That time. That nasty that chocolate. That nigga had some nasty chocolate, bro. That yeah, shit made me throw up, bro. I remember. I remember just hysterically laughing a lot, running around in circles, just like having a good time. Coughing a lot, like he said. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's I hard to remember the first, but that was one of the first times I think. Or, so one of them. So we got joints over here, we got blunts over here. When it comes to rolling a backwood, what are your tips? I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I'm about to be off backwoods, yo. They never sent me that check, and honestly, I feel like I can't sing the way I used to. I used to sound like an angel. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna convert to straight fronto leaf. No disrespect to backwoods, I love them to death, but I'm going straight to fronto tobacco. I'm trying to start a tobacco farm myself. So if you are interested in working for us, Flava Zombies Tobacco Farm, email me. Email Josh Dick. Um, let's get it popping. Smack. You already know. You already. And uh, I was just going to say earlier, I wouldn't smoke anything that's not terpy. You know, it has to have terps, it has to have flavor. Mm-hmm. If it don't smell and taste the same way, I don't want it. I'm talking terps. You dig? Hey. You dig? Um, so, what about like the highest you've ever been? Do you remember? How, I mean, if you can, fucking remember. Uh, I know the highest I've ever been on the edible. Mm. How was that? Uh, the first time I had an edible, my friend, he's gonna love this. His name is Jeff. Oh boy. Uh, at the time, I was doing, uh, what's the name of that venue that closed down in Brooklyn? Southpaw? Southpaw. I had a, we weren't, I don't even know, what we, we probably weren't flabbing zombies yet. Um, the first time I went there, there was like a showcase where like, all these different rappers would come out and like fucking spit their verse over like a random beat. And I ate like, I don't know what the fuck, maybe like a whole and a half of a brownie and Jeff had eaten it 15 minutes before I came to his crib. So everything that was happening to him, 15 minutes later would happen to me. And I was just like, yo, and he's like, yo, my legs feel crazy. I'm like, fuck out of here. Then he's like, 
yo, you don't feel crazy? And in 15 minutes, my shit was fucked up. By the time we got to the venue, bro, I was peaking and I performed and I was so fucking high, bro, that like, I don't remember any of that shit. And I remember we had pizza, bro, it was piping hot. I ate the pizza. I don't know how I ate the shit. <laughs> then he, 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 he went to his crib and I remember as he walked away, he lived in Manhattan, I lived in Brooklyn. As we walked away, it was literally, I got higher and higher and higher by myself. By the time I was home, bro, I felt like a fiend, bro. Like, I couldn't even sit still. I hate Fran Drescher's uh, voice, I'm sorry. But the nanny was on. I love the voice. My fucking remote fell behind my bed, and I remember trying to reach to get the shit, and I just like, fuck it. Like, I just couldn't, yo. Like, you to put up it with was it. painful, yo. It was so painful. I, love you, I remember he called, called me after that, the day after. Literally but do you, do you remember that one time we had edibles in front of you on your front our porch? We were fucking, that was Yo, we this nigga had bro. edibles. We laughed on his front porch all night like fucking hyenas. <laughs> we sat on, yo, till the sun came up. We didn't even yeah, realize we were done. We were laughing at nothing. Nothing, bro. We were playing albums that we listened to our whole lives and we were just laughing <laughs> at like one ad little Marshall Mathis LP for like two hours. We were just laughing like, yeah, it was great. Do you guys still eat edibles? Oh yeah, I still eat edibles all the time. I'm not really, I don't really fuck with it anymore. Man. I don't know why people are so afraid of it. For me, it doesn't really, I don't really see kaleidoscopes and crazy shit like that. I just, if anything, it just knocks me out. If I get too high of it, I just go to sleep. Like, I never had a bad. One time I took an edible, I'm in Denver with, it was him, right? Jesus Christ. Bro. I took, it's supposed to be split for six to four, four to six people. I took Avid alone. Myself, yeah. Not read it. By himself, <laughs> like, bro. So, like, for me, it's like, it really has to be really strong to really fuck me up, bro. And I'm there like, if I'm fucked up, I don't know how you I was in Cybertron. I was in Cybertron. I was going, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, that was bad. So. Held it down, man. I didn't have a bad experience on edibles, but I just don't want to get to the point where I do. So Good I just stay in the way. But I am trying to learn how to like make my own butter and start cooking on my own because I do want to like add that to my repertoire and shit. So like, you know, nice little jerk chicken with a little, a little toast with a little weed butter. You know what I mean? You start your day, you're good. You know what I'm saying? What about dabs? You guys I love dabs, oil? man. I love oil, man. This nigga's a dab master. Dab lord. Um, dab lord. I mean, I'm not the dab lord, but you know. <laughs> yeah, because the nigga will see this video. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't take like full gram dabs for, for fun. I don't you like the taste. Yeah. yeah. You're not trying to show off, man. That's yeah. All. I like the taste. Low temperature dabs. You know, critical concentrates. Gold nuggets. Shout out to the fam. You know hey. what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, what about munchies for you guys? What's your go-to? What's the first thing you grab? You want to hear some crazy shit? Me and this guy was addicted to fucking sour cream and onion Pringles for about 20 years. <laughs> yeah. I just cut that habit. I eat bananas now. I eat straight grain shit. I don't play that when I get the munchies because you know what's going to happen. You're going to get the munchies and you're going to be eating some crazy sugary shit. And you're going to eat some other shit. It's going to make you more thirsty. And you're going to spin it loop of getting thirstier and more fucked up. So right. have a little fruit next to you. I like smoothies with my shit. It sounds crazy. Try some fruits. I like to be hydrated. I want to enjoy my weed. You feel me? I don't want my fucking mouth to be a fucking desert. I don't like that shit. So <laughs> have fun, man. Have fun with your weed. You I don't even have my water next to me right now. I don't know why we don't have water now. We're not even leading by example. I was going to say, you can't <laughs> so really I fuck with bitches with dry you can't. Your mouth and shit. Exactly. <laughs> I'm about to ask you now, like, what's your what's your pet peeves when you're smoking? What do you hate when people do? When, when Aaron wets the blunt too much and has to smoke shit after. Um, <laughs> I kind of hate when someone sees you just roll something and like they're like the way they act. Can I hit that? There's a certain way to like go about and they it. Watching you, some people you are so bad. On it, some people are so bad at like, yo, yo I don't want to be annoying, but can I? And actually like, more annoying by saying yeah i don't want to be annoying it's like oh god or just someone who doesn't bring anything to the table i don't mind you know you don't gotta have bread just bring discussion you don't gotta have money you know bring some energy. If you don't have roll up bring discussion biggest, biggest, if you don't have weed bring roll up if you don't have roll up or weed bring yourself in a fucking good time or something a story motherfucker don't just come and smoke the weed because we don't need you so we asked if you remember the first time you smoked but how old were you when you first started smoking? maybe 12. yeah i think i was 12. I was 15 or something like that. I wasn't smoking like that. I wasn't like, oh, big smoker, big chief, Marley <laughs> Meach. Like, here we go. Like, nah. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm, I'm Jamaican, so I grew up around, you know, as part of our culture, fucking reggae music. My grandfather is smoking weed around me the whole time. But that made me be more responsible because it wasn't something that was showed like, yo, don't do this. It, it was wasn't something some illicit, like. Yeah, and it was also something that, like, when you see people not hiding something from you and not making a big deal about it sometimes, it makes it more of a, it makes it more of a, um, <coughs> All right, I'm not rushing to do this. So when I did it, it was just out of curiosity, but it was never a big thing until I started to feel, until it started to help me like spiritually or help me like focus on things. And I realized, damn, weed is healing me. Like, 
then that's when I started really started like smoking, smoking. Yeah, and I didn't start smoking every day till 16. Mm -hmm. So like when we were younger, like 12, and when we like smoked once in a while on occasions to be kids and shit, but we didn't really start getting into like every day until then. Smoking and psychedelics go hand in hand with me at that time because that's what I was just doing. So like yeah. we listened to everything. We listened to fucking Marvin Gaye and then we listened to The Chronic. So like with me, you know, everything is weed music. I smoke weed. Yeah. You gotta play it, I'm smoking too. <laughs> that's it. I'm not a person that's like, <laughs> Throw on the jazzy stuff and get the reefer. <laughs> nah, roll me a J. Roll me a J. Like, nah, we just gonna get hot or whatever. I'll get hot of Marilyn Manson and shit like that. And when hit something crazy, crazy, we used to listen to Isaac Hayes' Pursuit of the Pimp oh, Mobile yeah. on yeah. repeat yeah. all day. That's that a song that those, get those hot to. Well, that's a set, like, perfect. Like, <coughs> songs, sometimes the songs don't even need lyrics, you know? <laughs> 